Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sheila Vila, and I'm coming to you with a review of Love and Mary Huntsville, Season 5, Episode 4, A Low Down Dirty Shade. Good morning, Shane. <laughs> anyway, y'all, um, forgive my voice. I am a horse. I have been doing a lot today, so bear with me, and we're going to get through this um, review of Love and Mary Huntsville. All right, so the episode starts out where um, Marceau and Leticia, they are going to visit their property that they purchased to build Scott Manor. Um, I think it's what, 40 acres or something like that. It's a really huge property on a mountaintop and they're driving up the mountaintop and Leticia seems like she's scared and she's telling Marceau not to speed, you know, slow down. That sounds like me and my husband when we driving down the street on a regular basis. You know, slow down, don't hit nothing, watch this bump, watch this log, you know. So they end up making it to the top of the mountain and then they just start to reminisce on where they come from since 2019 and how long it's been. They used to have one contractor, I think it was their uncle or something, but now they have new contractors. They were saying since the pandemic, um, Everything had pretty much got shut down, which is really true because my husband, he's in real estate and he talks a lot about the builders and the cost of wood going up. And it was taking um, the trucks a long time to get the wood over, the supplies over. So, yeah, a lot of things shut down during that time and that kind of prolonged them getting their project completed. So now they have passed a lot of the hard phases and they are starting the building process and i've actually been watching a, a few of their um i've been watching their um process a little bit Letitia, she reports a lot of what's going on on her instagram and to me it's very intriguing it's very good to watch and so yeah i just it just makes me feel good to see black people buying property buying land the number one asset is land buying land and creating something of their own you know so that is a blessing within itself and i am so um i'm happy for them i really am i'm happy for them outside all the rumors outside of everything they have been able to just push forward and make it work um leticia they bring up the fact leticia brings up the fact that she wants to invest in her mother's food truck and marceau he disagrees he said that um her truck isn't working. It's not the fact that he doesn't want to help Miss Wanda. It's the fact that he doesn't want to support a bad business plan. So, but Letitia says, but you want to support Martel. You want Martel to come back into the business of, you know, Skolt because they originally started Skolt together, but Letitia bought out Martel because the business was actually sinking. And um, Martel, Mar Marceau says that Martel was a great business person. He doesn't have to worry about Mar Martel bringing pictures of his back in a hotel room. He doesn't have to worry about just a lot of things that he will have to worry about Miss Wanda. So he feels like it's, it will be an easier and a better business decision to bring Martell in versus working with Miss Wanda. And um yeah. And Mar um Marceau had made the comment, sometimes you have to give something to gain something. So whatever that is. But I mean, as we all know, it looks as if they I mean from what I know, Miss Wanda does have a food truck, and I believe Marceau and Letitia did back her in it. So it is what it is. All right. Now we are going to Martel. Martel, he's starting to build again. Did Martel ever get his business license? Did they ever show that? I'm not for sure. But anyway, he's back building. And remind you, in the last episode, when Destiny came to Martel, telling her about all the rumors about um, Melody number one and him sleeping together, he said that he wasn't going to bring it up. But we can see here in episode four, he brought he brings it up to Melnika. Um, 
he breaks it down. He says, well, Destiny said that Kimmy said that Melanie said that they were sleeping together. They slept together then and they are sleeping together now. And Melnika is just like, I don't really understand why um, she would bring something like that up. It's not true. She says, I have a husband. I have a family. She says, I don't think that it's fair that I have to defend myself working with you in a professional environment. And I 100% agree. I don't think that it's fair that people would start another rumor about something that's not true. You know, and even if it is true, we don't have any proof that it is true. Because even Melnika was saying, nothing is going to show proof that anything has happened between the both of you. And, and she also said that she knows that this stuff stems from when she was, in fact, the wedding planner. She said that she said that um she had got word that Martel was trying to sleep with her assistant. And Melody found out somehow got back to Melody and Melody comes up to her place of business saying, who want Martell? Who want Martell? And she like, girl, don't nobody want Martell. The only person want Martell is you. And I could, I could see that. I could see all of that because Melody has said plenty of times, we've heard the stories about her going confront Arion. We've heard the stories about, you know, all, that she confronted a lot of women when it came down to Martell. So I wouldn't even see her not doing it in this situation right here. So, yeah. And at the end of the day, you still marry them in your confrontations and all. And um, Melnika actually said, too, it wasn't no two weeks. This was months, months before the wedding even happened. And she said she still, even though she quit being the wedding planner, she is the one that designated her mom to continue because Melody said that she found somebody else. But in actuality, Melnika said she told her mom to go ahead and finish. So I'm like, man, every time these stories get out, everybody has all these different versions of the story. But hey, like they say, it's her version, his version, her version, they version, our version, and then you have the truth. So it ain't three sides to a story. It's about eight when you're dealing with love and marriage, Huntsville. But anyway, and then this is the part that was really confusing. And I'm not going to even say confusing. It did not need it to. It did not have to be said. Martel said, yeah, we did sleep together in high school. Now, he said, it doesn't make sense for us to sleep together now. We ain't slept together since high school. I'm like, really, Martel? Did you really have to bring that up? That doesn't have anything to do with the situation. And even when y'all did sleep together in high school, you and Melody still got married after they slept together in high school. She was still your wedding planner. We, after y'all slept together in high school, y'all still had a family and everything after y'all slept together in high school. So anyway, and then Melnika says, don't nobody want you. I don't want you. And he said, you cheat anyway. So it don't even matter, you know? And then Martel says, so you won't want to sleep with me now? She like, boy, no. And one thing I can say about Martel, if you put his business out there about him cheat, he going to throw you under the bus too. He told me, well, you cheated too. He just can't never say he was the only one doing something. He going to always bring up what the next person did. He said, I will never be on a sinking ship by myself. I'm taking everybody down with me, whether it's true, false, good, bad, or indifferent. Somebody is going to run down on this ship with me. Anyway, so that was Love and Marriage Hunts Huntsville, that part between Mel Nika and um, Martell. They laughing, they still working together, and that is what it is. Now, back over at um, Melody's house, she's sweeping off the front porch. She's sweeping off the back porch. She cleaning off all the patio furniture because her mom is coming over and they going to have lemonade outside on the back porch. So... Melody talks about the whole interview that she has. And Melody says that she was happy 
with it. And then they get into the whole shade of it all when it comes to Miss Vanessa putting up a picture of Letitia and one of Melody's shirt saying Team White. And they want to say that, oh, that was nothing. You were supporting marriage. You weren't being shaded, just a little bit of shade, but that was all it was, just a little bit of fun and shade, and you promoting the business. You see how they downplay that? And then she goes to say, but what I think is interesting is when Martel, excuse me, was when Marceau posted up the picture of them Coca-Cola bottles that had Vanessa and Scott on it. You see what that is? They trying to pull us down. They trying to 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 um uh, be shady. You see what they doing? I'm like, first of all, all y'all being shady. You can't sit up there and tell somebody. Hold on, what I want to say. You can't sit up and throw your shade and then tell somebody else how to respond when they throw their shade. That ain't how that works. Yo mama, Miss Vanessa, you put that out there and you was you was being shady. And Martell put his stuff out there and he was being just equally as shady, but he took his up just a higher of a notch because Miss Vanessa is staying in this narrative that when she was friend or friendly or dating or whatever they want to label this relationship, that Mark, which is my source brother that they had, Vanessa wants to say, oh, we was just friends. But everybody else in Huntsville said that they were dating. They even took it back to the reunion because Mar Miss Vanessa said she was just disappointed that Martell had brought up the fact that she was driving five, four and five hours to go and see Mark. But they weren't dating. And even Melody sit up there and said, but he would drive four and five hours to see her too. But they ain't dating. They just friends. I ain't never slept in his house. Then Melody said they got hotels. <laughs> they got hotels. I'm like, Miss Vanessa, you trying your best to say that y'all friends, but everybody is saying y'all got hotels. And y'all was driving four and five hours, including Melody. She was saying the same thing. But y'all friends, okay, it is what it is. In your mind, y'all was friends. In Mark's mind, y'all was dating. And in everybody else's mind around Huntsville, y'all were dating. Whatever narrative y'all want to spin on it, spin it. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, all y'all was being shady. Yes, you was. And that's the end of that. Now we're here with um, Letitia and Martell. Martell wants back in with Scott because he feels like instead of them building hotels, they can own hotels. But he has to grow, go through Letitia because Letitia um, is the majority owner. She bought out. She bought out Martell, and they were in the negative. But now they are a multi-million dollar company, and Letitia wants to know why. Do you, Martell, want to come back to Scope? Pretty much. So they talk about it. He gives his explanations. And Letitia is just like, I need you to be able to pretty much, I need you to separate your business from your personal. Marceau says that Letitia is an emotional person. She said, yeah, I am an emotional person to a certain degree, but I'm not emotional when it comes to business. And she said, I need to make sure that when you come back to Scott, that you don't think that you're coming back to the old Scott. You're coming back to the new Scott because there's a new sheriff in town, according to Eddie Murphy in Beverly Hills Cop, number one. But this is Letitia in Huntsville, season five. So there's a new sheriff in town. There's a new owner on the block. And you, whatever Letitia said, it has to go. Letitia brings up the 20 women's. Remember that? Cause because Marceau, Martel said, there is no reason, absolutely, that you should not trust me. But yes, there is a reason, Martel, because according to you, you lied about the 20 women's. You started that rumor and they have been fanning fly, 
fanning flames and fires, putting out fires ever since that time. So Letitia says, I don't want to go through that no more. If we're going to do business, we're going to do business. Leave all the other stuff in the past. We moving forward. And before, also before they even started talking about the whole, him coming into the business, she brings up, she brings up the whole Mark incident. And the question of the hour was how in the world did Marceau even get that picture? Because back in the day, when Van, Miss Van was dating Mark, Marceau's and Mark's mother sent a picture. Mark took the picture and sent it to Miss Vanessa because the mother, Marceau Martel, excuse me, Marceau Maurice and Mark's mother said that Mark was going to marry Miss Vanessa. And they were going to live a happy life, but they ain't together no more. And Letitia said that Miss Vanessa would call her all the time and ask questions about Mark. What is Mark like? What is Mark doing? Please don't go and tell Marceau about what's going on between Mark and her. And Letitia is like, you know, I can't keep that from him because y'all are dating. I can't keep that from him. So that's how the picture came about because Miss Vanessa sent the picture to Letitia to talk about what the mama said that they was going to get married. Now, if come on, this is crazy. This is now if wasn't nobody dating. If wasn't nobody, if y'all just friends, why in the world are you sending pictures of your first and the last name and the mama saying y'all getting married? Anyway, child, bye. That's when they was dating. End of the line. Anyway, so Marceau took it upon himself to post it. All right. That's what that is. Oh, and Letitia said that Miss Vanessa is a Christian lady that's shady. She'll be shady and then she'll throw you a Bible verse. All right. So the boys, they want to go out and they want to, I guess, do bowling playing a football bowl that they got the pins up there but they throwing the football to knock down the pins and so marceau said he is not a athlete chad i don't know if he was saying that on purpose or if he was being funny or does he really say athlete because he said athletic right after that i don't know why that just stood out to me because i said athlete but anyway so they sent me out and they you know they was playing the game Maurice won. The boys had to do sit-ups, push-ups. They go sit down at the table and they talk. They're talking about the relationship between um, Martel and Letitia. And Marceau was bringing up the fact that Letitia went on a date. Well, that Martel went on a date. And how was the date? And at first, Martel wasn't really catching it, but he was talking about Letitia. Because throughout this episode, Marceau was making references to Letitia going on a date with um, Martel. And Letitia is a good girl on the first date. Just just a bunch of references that really didn't mean nothing. And um, Martel, he was talking about, before he even brought up the dating stuff, Martel was talking about him and Melody, they're on a better page, on a better note. He's allowing um, the kids to call them in the morning. He's allowed to bring cookies over to the house. He's allowed to go see the kids and have, have um, luncheons and stuff with the kids. He's allowed to do all of this stuff. The things that he wanted previously, he has a chance to do that now. And then that's when Marceau brings up the fact that you can't just get all your comfort for the kids. Have you been going on dates to get comfort, comfort from dates? And then he brings up the whole Letitia thing. And then they're laughing. And then this part was kind of weird because Marceau said, I hope you were you were gentle with Letitia. And then Marceau, Martel says, yeah, always. I'm always gentle. I was like, that was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Can we stop that? Because that's weird. But anyway... They get off into, you know, oh, Maurice brings up the fact that the way that they're talking about business and Letitia is back on board with uh, Martel being there and they being good business partners, then, you know, 
they're going to, they're in a better place that Maurice thought that they would never get back to this place because everything that had happened. And Marceau brings up the fact that, you know, him and, you know, Letitia and Martel, they'll probably be siding against, um, against Mar, Mar, Marceau. And Marceau also brings up the fact that Letitia is very good with her money. She's very good with her finances. And she talks a lot about checks and balances. If Marceau wants to go and build a building, they need to make sure it's in the budget. They don't go over budget, you know? So they need her for that, you know, for profit and losses, you know, checks and balances, making sure that their numbers look good. And I'm kind of, and I'm actually, I'm, kind of glad that they're showing Letitia in a business mode in business in her business mind because she got all these degrees like master degrees and all this other stuff let her show who she is instead of showing her as a naive person running up behind Marceau all day you know so I mean I think it's good yes right now for this moment they are doing good with each other everybody is on the same page when it comes to scope but we know that it's not gonna last long anyway that's that now this is the grand re 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 reopening of Madani um destiny is very happy everybody is coming in and su supporting her melnika and martel comes together kimmy and maurice comes together miss wanda is out there i thought her food truck was out there but it wasn't her food truck she was just in a big van setting up food to sell outside and mind you it is really hot at this moment of time in Huntsville, because everybody is sweating just about in every scene when they were outside, them suckers was sweating. I was like, y'all ain't got no towels with y'all. Even inside of the Madani building, Martel was sweating. He had to go get, <laughs> he had to go get him a fan because he was hot. Girl, I'm like, what you girl? Turn your air on. And um, yeah, they in there and Des Destiny, she's excited. She keeps reminding people that um she got black cabinets. <laughs> Y'all see the black cabinets? You notice I pa I painted the cabinets black. Okay, good job. We seen you. And it's also nice of her to um put in everybody else's businesses like the, the nail polish and the fragrances and the things like that. Um, the one thing I did want to point out because they keep asking destiny is Melody invited. Melody was in her confessional and she said she's going to go because she wants, she said that destiny is not her friend. No, she said destiny is not her enemy. She don't hate destiny and she support black businesses. Last I checked, you and destiny were not friends and you and Des destiny did not invite you to go to her opening, her re 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 opening of her event. So why are you going? You didn't get invited. The last time that you even talked to Destiny was, was, was around that whole Galentine event. That's the last time y'all even spoke. That's months, months. Y'all ain't even talked. She ain't even invited you. And I think that's wrong of, De of Melody to go over there. Now, y'all got so mad when Letitia carried her little self in her polka dot dress down to uh, Melody's event of her um, skincare. Everybody got upset because the number one thing was Letitia was not invited. So why did she go? And in this instant right here, this instance, Melody was not invited. Destiny said out of her own mouth, no, I did not invite her. So why are you going? 
you going to be messy. You're not going to support no black business. You're not going to, to oh, I'm, this is what I do. You ain't doing it. You're going to be messy. And it's going to be a whole bunch of mess. I believe if Melody would have not shown up, this whole fight would not have happened. Y'all can get mad at me. I really don't care. But that's just what it is. And I'm going to call it how I see it. She was not invited. She should not have went. Because when Letitia carried herself down there, everybody was mad at Letitia. Oh, she needed security called on her because she wasn't invited in the first place. She needed that to be happening to her. She crying in the car. She needed to cry in the car because she should have never went. And, and, and here, here we are. Here we are. Now a whole fight is finna break out because Melody was not invited. Now all of a sudden, say. I don't hate her. That's not my enemy. I support black business. But you weren't even invited. And you ain't talked to this girl since that Galentine stuff. Girl, you can miss me with that. You really can. You really can. But anyway, here we are. No Melody was not invited. Everybody is pulling up. Miss Wanda outside in the hot heat, setting up tables and aluminum foil um, pans. They got chicken and stuff inside it. And everybody is walking around. Contessa, she done came down there with her yellow on. Um, Marceau, he underdressed. Everybody else overdressed, but it's still hot. You know? And then, here we go. They pulling up. Yeah, that truck is fire. That, that gold is fire. And this is when to start, when it's going to happen. To be continued. Y'all, this Sheila B. Lee. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, that's Love and Marriage Huntsville. We finna see it pop off. Y'all have a great day. Bye.